More proof of the folly for Trudeau's refugee rush. I'm Brian Lilly with the rebel.media. I've been telling you from the beginning that Justin Trudeau's plan to bring in 25,000 Syrian refugees in quick, short order was nothing but a vanity plan. It was something he dreamed up in the days after a poor Syrian boy washed up on the shores of a Turkish beach. He wanted to show he was more compassionate than the conservatives who were promising to help 10,000. He wanted to show he was more conservative than the NDP who said, let's bring in 10,000 now. So he suggested 25,000 by the end of the year. He missed that deadline. He pushed it back to the end of February, but eventually he got 25,000 people here. But at what cost to them? At what cost to the Canadian taxpayers? At what cost to the, the hardship on the communities trying to establish and settle these people. Several times, communities large and small said, slow down, you're bringing in people too fast, we can't handle them. Well, the Syrian refugee issue is out of the headlines for the most part now, but that doesn't mean the refugee rush isn't still having consequences being felt. And let me bring you the story of the El Mohammed family. This is profiled in a story from the Toronto Star News Service, profiled in the Metro newspaper, the free commuter newspaper, Check it out. He's a man with a wife and five children, and he signed on to a lease for almost $1,800 a month for a three-bedroom apartment to house his family because he was promised not only a, a certain stipend per month while he was uh, a new refugee in Canada, but also because he was promised thousands of dollars a month in the types of child benefits open to every Canadian citizen, every permanent residence. But he's not getting them. Just like promised help for housing accommodation, promised help for job training, language training has fallen short, so too is the issue of child support payments, child benefits, the much ballyhooed child benefits that Justin Trudeau made an announcement about just last week. Uh, look, Benedrittin El Mohammed, the father of this family, says he's very grateful to Canada. Let me quote to you from the story. He says, we are very grateful to Canada and its people. We feel peace and safe here, but we struggle just to make sure we have food to feed our children. He is thousands of dollars a month short because the benefits aren't being processed quickly enough. They're not being processed in the way that they were promised. So he's relying not only on food banks, but a food basket from the, the local mosque. He's relying on the help of the generosity of strangers. Isn't that the way the, well, the private refugee sponsor pro program was supposed to work? But Trudeau said he wanted this to be mainly about government sponsored refugees. And yet he's not helping them. He's not helping them and he's leaving them out in the wind because the photo, photo op era is over. There's no benefit to him anymore of being seen with families like the El Mohammed, so let them flap in the wind. It doesn't matter to him. Canada promised these people the sun, the moon, and the stars. We're looking at bringing another 25,000 in by the end of the year, and yet we can't help those that are here already. This was about one thing and one thing only. It wasn't about helping refugees. It wasn't about helping Canadian communities grow. It was about making Justin Trudeau and his liberals look good to the salivating media that never once questioned what he was doing. And now these people are here, it's incumbent for us to, to try and help them, but that's falling to private charity. That's falling to communities. The government is once again falling down because there's no photo op in it for Justin. Look, if you have thoughts on the whole issue of the refugee rush, if you have thoughts on how Canada is handling its immigration system, I want you to go to refugeepause.ca. We're not asking you to sign the petition this time, but this is where you can actually find a questionnaire. The government is looking for your input on how it should handle the immigration file. Uh, despite the conservatives holding immigration at near record levels, it, despite the conservatives being the, well, helping Canada stay at the top of settling UN refugees for decades now, the Liberals want to bring in more and more and more. They want to bring them in faster. Is that the way that we should be doing it? Need you to go to refugeepause.ca and have your say. We know that the left is going to organize around this. We know that they're going to have their say. They're organized. They're sending out issues on this all the time. So I need you to go to refugeepause.ca. If you think that the way that Justin Trudeau handled the refugee pause, the photo ops, and then leaving people to, to hang in the wind, bringing in people so fast that communities couldn't handle them, talking about bringing them in, 
without vetting until people like you and I stood up, then you need to go refugeepause.ca. Fill out the forms, let your voice be heard, and maybe change this government's mind. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.